Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is use of seek and tell methods and I will explain python program to copy text from one file to another file. And then I will explain file object attributes and at last I will explain what is use of truncate, flush and split methods. Guys, I have uploaded complete python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is use of seek and tell methods. Tell method returns the current file position and whereas seek method is used to change file handle position. I will give an example so that you can clearly understand what is use of this seek and tell methods. Example, there is text file in local disk D. The text file name is file.txt and this file.txt contains text that is engineering. At first, we need to open this file. So, right here a equal to where a is object a equal to open inside open function i need to open this file so in quotations write d colon slash file name is file.txt double quotations close comma r plus mode where r plus is used to perform both read and write operation so i took here r plus mode it will open this file file.txt and whenever it open this file cursor is at first position tell method is used to identify current file position my cursor is at first position so just i want to find cursor position right here print my file is present in object a so right here a dot tell whenever i open this file my file is at index number 0 that is first position so whenever i run this line of code it will display output 0 because my cursor is at index number 0 next i am writing here a dot c of 4 seek function is used to change file handle position that is nothing but it is used to change cursor position for example i want to place cursor after four characters i want to place cursor here so just write here a dot seek of four that is nothing but it will place my cursor after four characters e n g i it will place cursor here again i want to identify cursor position so just write here print a dot till this tell method is used to identify cursor position. Now my cursor is here in place of n. Now my cursor is at fourth position. So e in index number 0, n in index number 1, g in index number 2 and i in index number 3. Now my cursor is at index number 3. So I will get output index number 3. Where seek method is used to change cursor position and whereas tell method is used to identify cursor position. It will display where cursor is located. And whenever you write here print a dot read, you will get output. Actually, my cursor is here. So it will not print e n g i. It will print from n. So I will get output n e e r i n g. Because my cursor is at index number 3, so it will print data from index number 3. This is program. Once again, I will explain this code. Where a dot l is used to identify cursor position. Whenever I open this file, my cursor is at index number 0. So, whenever I write here print a dot l, I will get output 0. And similarly, I want to change cursor position to index number 3. That is nothing but I want to place my cursor after 4 characters. So, just I written here a dot c of 4. It will place my cursor after 4 characters. And whenever I write here print a dot l, tell method is used to identify cursor position. Now my cursor is at index number 3, so I will get output 3 and similarly whenever I write here print a dot read, I will get output my cursor is at index number 3, so it will print characters from index number 3 that is n e e r i n g, this is my output. After performing these operations, at last we need to close our file, so just write here a dot close. Close method is used to close file, where open is function and tell seek read and close are methods because we written a dot tell, a dot seek and a dot read and a dot close. We will include object name before methods. This will extend python program to copy text from one file to another file. For example, there are two files. One file name is file1.txt and another file name is file2.txt and these both files are present in local disk D and this file1 contains text that is hello. Now I want to copy data which is present in my file1 to file2. File 1 contains hello. Now I want to copy this hello to file 2. I want to copy hello to file2.txt. At first we need to read this data. So you need to open file1.txt in read mode. And next, now we need to write data which is present in file1.txt to file2.txt. 
So open this file to dot txt in write mode. Write a equal to open. It first we need to open file one dot txt in read mode. So in double quotations write local disk d d colon slash file one dot txt in read mode. Because at first we need to read this data. And similarly take another object that is b and open this file in write mode. Open d colon slash file two dot txt double quotations close comma write mode. At first, we need to read hello, and after that, we need to write hello to file two dot txt. File one contains text that is hello. Now hello is stored in object A. Next, we take for loop for i in A, where i is variable name. Whatever the data that is present in object A, this data is copied to variable i. Object A contains text hello. Whenever you write here for i in A, this data hello is copied to variable i. Now this variable i contains text that is hello. Now we need to copy hello, which is present in variable i to file two dot txt. Just write here b dot write of i. Meaning of this is whatever the data that is present in variable i, we are copying this data to object b. Object b contains file two dot txt. Now it will copy hello to object b. Now file two dot txt contains hello. This is hello. We open two files. So at last we need to close these two files. So write a dot close. That is nothing but we are closing this file one. And similarly we are closing this file two. File two is present in object B. So write here B dot close. We close these two files. This is program in order to copy text from one file to another file. Next I will explain file object attributes. Once we open any file, we can get various information about that file. There are three types of file attributes. First one is file dot closed. And next one is file dot mode, and next one is file dot name. This file dot closed attribute will return true if this file is closed. If file is not closed, it will display false. And next one is file dot mode. For example, we open file. That file name is name dot txt in read mode, so it will display output read mode. This file dot mode will return access mode with which file was opened. And next one is file dot name, where file dot name attribute will return name of the file. For example, I open file. That file name is name dot txt in read mode. I am applying these three attributes. So just write here print in double quotations. I written name of the file comma a dot name, where a dot name attribute will display file name. My file name is name dot txt. So I'll get output name dot txt. And similarly, I written print closed or not in double quotations comma a dot closed. If file is closed, then it will display true. If file is not closed. It will display false. Here I open file, but I did not close this file, so it will display output false. And next I return print opening mode in quotations comma a dot mode. I open this text file in read mode, so I'll get output R. These are three file object attributes. Next I will explain what is use of truncate, flush, and split methods. At first I will explain what is use of split method. For example, my text file name is file dot txt. Which is present in local disk D, and this text file contains data that is hello Ramesh, and in next line I am Nagendra. I will write program by using split method a equal to open my file is present in local disk D, so give a local disk D colon slash file name is file dot txt double quotations close comma I want to read data, so open this file in read mode. Reading is nothing but whatever the data that is present in my file, it will display this data in my output screen. Next, write here print a dot read dot split. I am performing two operations. First one is I am splitting this data and I am reading this data. Whenever I run this line of code, I will get output. It will display output in the form of list and it will split each string with quotations. So I will get output hello, comma Ramesh, comma I, comma am, comma Nagendra. Split method is used to split string. At last, we need to close this file. So just write here a dot close. This is split method. We are splitting data and we are reading this data. Next, I will explain what is use of flush method. For example, I want to add text. How are you? So just say written here a equal to open file dot txt in append mode, and I want to add text. How are you? So just write here a dot write of how are you. But I don't want to add how are you. I want to add hello. So just say here a dot flush. This flush is used to flush previous statement. So it will flush this previous statement. And next, I want to add hello. 
So just write here a dot write of hello. And at last you need to close this file. So just write here a dot close. This is program. If you want to flush any previous statement, then you can use flush method. Next selection, what is use of truncate method? Truncate method is used to change file size. For example, my text file name is file.txt and this text file contains data that is hello India. Guys, just remember that each character will occupy one byte of memory. So total there are one, two, three, four, five space is one byte that is six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Total there are 11 bytes. So total this file will occupy 11 bytes of memory. Now I want to change this file size to 5 bytes. So just write here a dot truncate of 5. Now it will change my file size to 5 bytes. What are 5 bytes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will remove all these remaining characters. Now, now my file contains data that is hello which is of 5 bytes. It removed remaining bytes. And next write here a dot close. And whenever you read this file, you will get output hello. Because we changed this file, file.txt to 5 bytes. Now I want to read this data. So just write here a equal to open, file.txt in read mode. And whenever you write here print a.read, you will get output hello. And at last we need to close this file, a.close.